Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nicole and I am Makeup Princess Mommy. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I am Nicole and I do a lot of makeup videos and I just really love makeup and I'm very, very obsessed with makeup. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is very, very exciting because it is Jaclyn Cosmetics has finally released her first eyeshadow palette and many other things, but I only bought the eyeshadow and uh, the setting powder because I wasn't really interested in like the eye primer and other things that she had listed. This collection was launched April 24th and I got mine from um, Ulta site. I didn't get it from her website. If you got it from her website, you get a different eyeshadow palette from uh, the, well, I'm sorry, it's the same eyeshadow, but it's just a different front cover but I just got mine from Ulta. This collection includes a legacy eyeshadow palette that is $49, a first base eyeshadow primer, an inline eyeshadow pencil which is four shades for $18, an all set setting spray that was $28. I was gonna get that one. And powder move loose setting powder, six shades for $30 a piece. This collection also came with Pout Spoken Liquid Lipsticks, four shades for $20 a piece. With the matching lip liners, it was four shades and they were $18 a piece. Uh, like I said from the beginning, Jaclyn has an exclusive eyeshadow palette. Well, the cover, the front cover that you can get from her website that is ex exclusive to celebrate the special mother in Jaclyn's life. So it just has um, all the people and I guess in her life who's made an impact on her. That is a different cover that you get at her website and on Ulta, you get a different one. I picked up the one from Ulta and it just comes like this. And I'm sorry guys, if I sound really weird or tired, it's just because I don't feel good. I think my kids got me sick. <laughs> and so now they're feeling better and going out and playing. I'm the one that don't feel good. So yeah, but this is a Jacqueline palette that I got from Ulta and it's just, nothing same thing on the front and back except for the Jaclyn cosmetics on the front and then this on the back and when you open it it's just like this with the Jaclyn letters across the front nothing on the back when you open it there is no mirror it's just the Jaclyn um, name and the colors the colors uh, cool tones Really weird shades. <gasps> oh no, my thing just fell out. But hopefully that doesn't fall out again. It's not really intact, but here is. And I also got the Jaclyn and Robin Powder Move Loose Setting Powder in the shade Sheer Light. Uh oh, Sheer Light? Yeah, I got the second shade and it has Jaclyn Robin. This is cute. And then on the back, it has powder move. And this is, this is 9.8 grams, 0 0.34 ounces for the setting powder. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, the setting powder first, but I'm going to try to use mainly some of Jaclyn's products that I have already in my collection. I've already did my foundation, a little bit of foundation in my eyebrows, but I'm gonna go in and do uh, my concealers. So if you're interested in see if this powder is any good, this is supposed to be a good powder for women who are you know, mature, so I can't wait to see that. I am definitely getting to be a mature lady, so I can't wait to see how this works underneath my eyes. Let's get into it. Okay, now I've already concealed my under eyes with the Nika K Concealer, one of my favorite concealers. And now I'm gonna go in with Jaclyn Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Medium Golden. This concealer is like super, super dry. So you have to move very, very quickly. See, so you gave it a little bit of a highlighted look and that's the look that I was wanting to achieve. Even though this using the sponge does take away the coverage, using a sponge is good if you have dry skin or dry under eyes like I do. Okay, so the powder, comes in like the other powders that she has. And I have the shade, I have the shade Sheer, oh, powdery. And 
I'm getting it out and here's a swatch of what it looks like. So I hope that it is not gonna, this is a lot, of, this is a lot of product. I put a lot on my hands. So I'm hoping that it's not gonna show up and be ash town. But I didn't want the sheer medium. I didn't want to get the sheer medium because that looked like my skin tone. I wanted a bright under eye powder. Jaclyn Cosmetic Powder Move Loose Setting Power Blurs and Smooth the Appearance of Skin While Setting Makeup with a Soft Focus Finish and Subtle Radiance, good for skin ingredients like squalene help blocks in moisture, while the key amino acid and aloe delivers a silky feel when calming, while calming skin. Now this powder is supposed to blend easily, high pigment coverage, and a radiant finish. I can't tell. It doesn't seem like it's radiant though. What do you guys think? And I'm just pressing this in to my skin. I know I applied a little bit too much powder though. Set right here. What do you guys think? Yeah. I see maybe a tad bit of shimmer a little bit on this finger. Hmm, that's interesting. I do like the powder so far. Okay, I have went back in to set my eyes. I use Jacqueline's concealer to, uh, as my primer, my eyeshadow primer with this shade right here. Bomb girl. I normally don't set it, but I just wanted to see like, and the farm girl shade is not really showing up on my skin. So the first shade I'm going to go in is, hopefully this will work, it's probably not gonna show up. And put that all over, oh shoot. I hope I don't put no powder down. Stick your hand in here. It is a little bit of kickback, but that's fine. I mean, go in and put this all over my crease. It looks really good after you build it up. Okay, can you see a difference? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know what other, cause that's probably the darkest shade in here that I can use. Cause all the shades are a little bit too light except for this black color right here, but I don't want to use black. I'm just gonna, and maybe put this on the outer parts <clears throat> the outer parts of my eye and I'm going to take oh I'm gonna take the Tootsie shade and put it Tootsie Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fix this other side and then I'll come right back. Okay, I really don't like, I mean, I like, I mean, the green color is not that bad, but I just want to cover it with the Family AF color right here. And put that over top of Tootsie. Here it is. So highlighters, I brought a few highlighters and this is not the final lip color, I just haven't took it off yet. I forgot to put the mascara on my under eyes. And I have a few choices for a highlighter. Jaclyn Cosmetics in the shade Bomb. Sec oh wait, is this Champagne Pop? Champagne, I think this is Champagne Pop or Prosecco. Champagne Pop, anniversary of Jaclyn in the Champagne Pop one. Sunflower, Prosecco Pop. There's Prosecco Pop, it looks a little bit like champagne. Ice and the little mini highlighter. 
Oh, another champagne pop. Oh, wait. <laughs> and I had the anniversary one. This one. Which I think this is the same as the powder. I think I'm going to go in with... I'm going to go in and use the anniversary one. Since this is Jacqueline's video, I can use the anniversary one. One of these brushes look like this. Now, Jacqueline Cosmetics, I don't have like her lip, I just have her brown lipstick. I don't think it's gonna look right with this, so I'm gonna find me a neutral color and then I'll come right back. Okay, and I forgot, this was supposed to be a Jacqueline Hill video where I was using the majority of her products, and I forgot a few of the products that I was supposed to use. I had the Brightening Banana Under Powder, but I can't use this one because we were trying the new powder, but I also have this Jacqueline powder, so I couldn't really use that one either. But I also have the shade Brilliant where I could set my face with this, but this is a little bit too shiny. Here's the shade Brilliant. Just gonna set a little bit of my face. Right there. A little bit right here. I don't wanna be shiny under here. I'm just showing you with the powder. Pretty much try to use all Jacqueline Hill's products. Uh, the lip I have on Milani Ludacris lip gloss one of my favorite lip glosses ever and my favorite lipstick in urban decay vice liquid lipstick in 1993 and this is the final look using jacqueline cosmetics eyeshadow palette and her powder her setting powder um i'm gonna say if i was to get anything from if i was to tell you to get anything from this collection it would probably be a powder you can never have too many powders i have a whole bunch of powders i actually kind of like this i actually want to keep using this because it's supposed to be a radiant finish or i mean a radiant powder but i mean i don't let me see let me come up close tell me if you see any radiance in my skin I mean, does my under eyes look different? I mean, maybe it's with the concealer and the powder because it was like a brightening, so that's probably why it looks really good, but I really, really like the powder. The eyeshadow palette is okay, okay. it's okay. Now, you guys know I love Jacqueline. We've had our issues in the past, but we're, we're working it out now. <laughs> but this is $50 for this. And I mean, I got it so I can show you guys the, the palette, but what I, I don't know if I would recommend it because I feel like you can get these colors anywhere for a better deal and I don't see anything really that special about this uh, eyeshadow palette. I mean, I, maybe it's just I don't like the color story. I think that's just what threw me off from, from first glance. I don't like the color story, but I don't know if I feel like these are $50 shadows. I don't know. If you have this, if you guys have this in a comment, please let me know if you feel like this is $50 shadow. Patrick Todd's palettes is, I mean, a little bit more, but his quality just, it just felt different. Like, I felt like I was using a luxury brand. It's just, I mean, it, nothing's bad about this palette. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I don't think it's worth $50. I'm sorry, Jacqueline. I still love you. It's just not worth $50. Hey guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Are you going to pick up anything from the collection? I really recommend the powder. But the first two shades are sold out. I think they have the medium and maybe a little bit a uh, few deeper shades. The uh, rest of the shades I think are still in stock. But I would recommend getting the powder. I really love the powder. If you're going to get anything, just get a powder. The lip products is, you know, other things you don't want really. I mean... Not unless you just are a Jacqueline fan and you want to have everything. But, I mean, I'm a fan and I didn't get everything. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I'm normally not this quiet and low. It's just I just don't feel that great. I want to get this video up for you guys. But uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Subscribe to my channel. Bye, everybody.